walk this earth like a god. You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? 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 You scared? What? what Kicking what, in what? the door, I make the bitches hit the floor for keys. Yeah. Travis got it here, and I'm back with some more boxing. Peter Quillen is finally coming back to fight, man. And you know, I was wondering when he was gonna come back because the Danny Jacobs fight was like almost a year ago. They fought in December. And um, Danny Jacobs has been pretty inactive too. What, did he come back and fight Sergio Mora? That's it, just like about a couple weeks ago? And Peter Quillen ain't came back to fight at all. So I'm like, damn, bro. Like you one of the biggest names in middleweight. You know, you can still make, uh, he still can get some of these guys in the ring. I don't know, he's been having trouble making 160 though. So, you know, he said that he might move up, but you know, I'm just happy to see him back in the ring. You know, uh, he released a statement, he did an interview with Fight Hype and he said, I'm hopefully getting back into the ring very soon, before the end of the year, new situation. I can't talk too much about it, but they're gonna do one of two things. They're gonna talk shit about it or they're gonna be happy for me. Maybe we're gonna see a move up. I'm feeling like I'm getting a new chance in life. That's pretty strong words to say. I feel like I'm getting a new chance in life. So I'm happy for Peter Quillen. You know, whatever he got going on, man. I'm happy to just to hear him um, saying that he's going to be back in the ring. You know, I hit him up just a few days ago, you know, and um, about a week ago. And I was like, damn, bro, what's going on, man? You know what I'm saying? Because he had uh, did a video, you know, like, Telling people that, hey, man, I'm going to be coming back to fight. Just because you don't see me uploading training videos don't mean that I'm not in the gym. You know, and um, I was just like, damn, bro, when you coming back? And, uh, you know, I still think you, you know, one of the top three middleweights in the world. Definitely top five in my eyes. But, you know, you got to come back to fight, man, and get this money. Why are you still young? You know what I'm saying? You don't want to take too much time off. And then you come back in like your mid-30s. You know, you need to get this money now. But, you know, he said he's going to come back, man. And um, he said maybe they'll move up. But I'm hoping that he can um, still make uh, 160 because this fight is there that he can fight. It's more names. He could possibly fight some of these guys at 168. You know, uh, Bottle Jack and James DeGale is looking like they're going to fight. So the IBF and WBC titles up there is going to be occupied. Gilberto Ramirez is available. <laughs> he might fuck around and beat that dude if he could get that fight. You know, uh, Gilberto Ramirez is with top rank, but you know, he might be able to make that fight. And what's the other belt? Man, damn, I can never think of who got Andre Ward's belt. It's probably a nobody from Kazakhstan or some shit. I have to look that up, man. Every time I think of it, I just can't figure out who ended up with his belt. They never talk about it. But like I said, man, you know, um, I'm happy to, to hear Peter Quillen you know, planning on getting back in the ring. You know, um, Peter Quillen was actually the first boxer that I ever met in person. And, you know, it's kind of a story to it, too, man. You know, uh, like both me and Peter Quillen is from Grand Rapids, right? You know, I met him in Los Angeles, but, you know, I met his brother in 2013, far before, you know, uh, my first YouTube video, or I didn't even... I didn't even know if I would, I didn't even plan on doing this shit. You know, it just kind of happened. But uh, I got introduced to his brother by, you know, a childhood friend of mine. You know, and um, once I met his brother, I knew I would eventually meet Peter Quillen. I like, I didn't know, like, where I was going to go in life, what I was going to do. But I kind of figured, it, it was weird, man. It's just like, I knew that I was going to do something. I was going to make it somehow, you know, um, when I met Peter Quillen's little brother, you know, uh, he came over to my house. We hung out. He, um, he got a record label. He rapped. He offered me a job, man, you know, doing something with his music because like I was going through a lot of shit at that time, man. I had just lost my job and, um, I was like kind of fucked up in the head around that time. But, you know, you know, they cool people, man. You know, his little brother. I mean, I met the whole family. You know what I'm saying? His dad and Peter Quillen, I met them out here in L.A. But I met his brother in Grand Rapids, man. We hung out a couple times. You know what I'm saying? A few times, you know, he called me over. I, I didn't show up. It was just like, like I said, man, you know, I was going through so much shit. I was fucked up. But, you know, um, like I knew 
once I met his little brother, I was going to meet Peter Quillen. And then when I met Peter Quillen, this was probably like when he was training for the Andy Lee fight. I came out to L.A. in 2014. I didn't do any YouTube videos until like May 2015. But you know, then when I went to that boxing gym, it was like, it was trippy, man. You know what I'm saying? It's, it's kind of hard to explain. You know, meeting this little brother the year before that. And then now I'm right in front of this uh, world champion or, or former world champion. He was undefeated at that time, but um, he was expected to get his belt back, but he, he missed the weight. It ended up um, being a draw, but still, you know, like Grand Rapids, Michigan, it's, it's not really talked about too much, but Grand Rapids is actually the second largest city in Michigan next to Detroit. So Peter Quillen is a big deal in Grand Rapids. You know, they talk about him all the time in a, in a newspaper. You know, if you live there, you know who Peter Quillen is. You know what I'm saying? Because we only had two world champions, right? Floyd Mayweather and Peter Quillen. And then, you know, to go to that gym, see him train. And um, Peter Quillen is actually... One of the, um, he trained pretty hard, man. The, like I was there, uh, his fight with Andy Lee was on NBC, PBC on NBC. And, you know, he, he was like going hard, man, for, for like three hours, three and a half hours. You know, and um, I mean, I was seeing him, big ass beanbag, just smashing the fuck out of his stomach. Just, huh, huh, huh. I mean, and then he's going hard, like on the ropes. I mean, he, he trains really hard, man. But, you know, um. You know, when a fighter misses weight, even by a little bit, people kind of feel like they didn't train. But that's not always the case. Sometimes you just grow out of a weight class. You know, as you get older, you know, your body matures, you get bigger. And that's what happens. I'm fat than a motherfucker right now. You know, at 33 years old. Shit, when I was 25, I never thought that I would be, you know, how big that I am now. I'm not extremely big, but still, you know, like as you get older, you get bigger. And, um... You know, he trained really hard for that fight, man. He was in amazing shape. I've seen it myself. And, you know, the uh, even the people that filmed him uh, had actually filmed Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao, and they compared him, how hard he trained, to those guys. So, you know, that goes to show you, man. And, um, you know, they they some good people, man. You know, Peter Quillen, his, his uh, brother, his dad. You know, they all some good people, man. Real approachable, down-to-earth people. You know, so um, I, don't, I want nothing but the best, especially you repping Grand Rapids, man. Grand Rapids in the building. You know, he did uh, kind of move to Brooklyn to kind of like, you know, to come up, you know, to give give himself a chance at becoming successful. Kind of like what I did moving to L.A. I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I wanted to be successful. You know, it's the same thing. Sometimes you got to make that move. You know, you got to make a sacrifice, take a chance. I'm pretty sure. Peter Quillen was homeless, too, when he moved over there to Brooklyn. Yeah. Like, he, he came from the bottom. And uh, that's what I did. I moved over here and was homeless. You know what I'm saying? And, and came from the bottom and worked my way up. YouTube ain't my only income. Doing, doing real good right now, man. So, you know, we do kind of got like a similar story. And we both from Grand Rapids. So, I got nothing but respect for Peter Quillen, man. You know, and... uh Oh, yeah, man. Let's get into his statement. He didn't really say much in his statement. He said he can't say too much about it. Now, I don't know if y'all noticed or not, but PBC ain't got no fight scheduled for the rest of the year besides like one on September the 27th, I think, against. But it's just two guys that you don't even know about. You know what I'm saying? Nobody ain't really ever heard of those guys. And I don't know what's going on with PBC. They, they used to have fights like... They used to have so many fights that you couldn't even keep up with them. Like if they had, I mean, they have like two fights in a week, two cards, whole cards, maybe even three sometimes. One on Saturday, one on, on Tuesday, one on Thursday, you know, and, or they was good for having like two in a week. And then now y'all don't have any fights scheduled for October, November, December. Something is going on, man. And, you know, I... I've been hearing that they was like in a hole or something that, you know, like they, but I never thought that they would like, uh, you know, they would cancel the series or it would just get like this bad. You know, they're not really saying anything about it, but you can see that there's no fight schedule and it's gotta be a reason. It's gotta be a reason. These, a lot of these guys want to come back and fight. 
But I don't know what the fuck is going on with PBC. You know, Peter Quillen didn't say anything about that, but you know, it's kind of hard to not notice that PBC doesn't have any fight schedule. It's ridiculous. I don't know what's gonna what's what's gonna happen with that, man. You know, um, Al Heyman works exclusively with PBC and Showtime, so I don't know if they're gonna take the guys to Showtime. I don't know what the fuck going on. It's kind of crazy, man. But you know, PBC might be coming to an end. And they might put those guys back on those premium networks. And, you know, it's a lot of people eating from that PBC that ain't going to be eating no more. I mean, Peter Quillen will. He's a big name. But, you know, it's a lot of, like, lower name guys. Like I said, man, they was having cards, like, you know, uh, twice a week and putting it on TV. You know, and uh, Showtime ain't going to buy those fights from those no-name fighters that they was, you know, having fight on Wednesdays and shit like that. So, you know, some motherfuckers, some motherfuckers going to feel it. You know what I'm saying? Some some of these fighters is going to feel it. They ain't going to be able to get a fight. If they do, it's going to be like less money. It's, they might not even be able to get televised. Shit about to get real in PBC. But, you know, hopefully Peter Quillen, when he come back, man, hopefully he can still make 160. He has taken some time off. And he was struggling to, to get down there in that weight, man. You know, there's no telling if he was drained making 160 for the Daniel Jacobs fight, you know. Because wasn't the Andy Lee fight right before that where he like missed it by, I don't know, it was like a half a pound or something like that. I don't know, maybe, I don't think it was a whole pound, but if it was, it wasn't much. But hopefully he can still make 160. You know, he's, he's 5'11", he's not short, so he'd be able to compete at 168. But, you know, I mean, you have to like put on muscle and shit. You're already used to 160 and you know how you can handle those guys. So, you know, and then it's, it's fighters that I want to see him in the ring with. So hopefully he can still make 160. I'm Travis Gotti. Thank you for tuning in to Travis Gotti Boxing. Subscribe. I got a good fuck with you. I got a good fuck with you.